Our ninth and 10th graders have been studying quadratic functions. So basically, any function that models a parabolic path, when you throw a ball, the path of that really is a symmetrical curve that goes upwards and then back downwards. Okay. Everyone ready? We had started off in math class learning about quadratic functions and how they work, what formulas you can use to solve them. And then we decided to take it to the next level and really explore how we can use these functions in real life. The students have been building catapults and they're going to be launching M&Ms off these catapults and finding the quadratic function that models the path of their catapults. Two, one. We were given a budget uh, and told to go out and buy our own materials and then build it ourselves. We had to find our own uh, designs as well, so some using popsicle sticks, uh, some using pencils, some using mouse traps. We were, were testing them um, and refining them and trying to get them as, as consistent as possible. They're measuring the time it takes for the M&Ms to land, the distance the M&M travels, and they're calculating the height of the M&M. And I'm hoping that they, they take this um, real life data and can model it into mathematical coordinates in order to build a quadratic function to model their catapult. We set up our, our new quadratic for our catapult to measure the, um, the parabola that it would create. Once every team has a quadratic model for their catapult, we're going to have a competition where I put a target in place and the teams now have to go backwards. They have to look at their models and think about where to place their catapults in order to hit the target. We, we aligned it to where our parabola would hit the x-axis um, on the graph and that is where the M&M will land and we did our best to line it up to make sure our M&M would land inside of a pot. The, the reason we're using M&Ms is because the kids enjoy, they love candy and um, the kids are allowed to eat the M&Ms after and the prizes for the, the people who get closest to the target or hopefully get into the target will be M&Ms. We not only learned about quadratics and math, but I also felt like we, we, in a way, learned a bit about engineering and how to use our materials and how the materials affect the final outcome of it. Yeah, so it, it was good fun and I, I gained a more, more understanding about quadratics and, and how they can be applied in real life.